In this video, we're going to show you how to wire our sound module to our Bitsy bot and how to attach it. The first thing we're going to do is uh, disconnect our speaker. We need the speaker wires to be longer and we want to feed them through the small hole from the top to, so that we can put the speaker on the bottom. So we've fed the wires through, they're about six inches long, and we're just soldering them now to the speaker. So these are the new wires and they're 22 gauge solid core copper wires. We're taping them down so that we can get a good solder joint and so the wire doesn't move around. And we're just uh, getting that solder to flow with the wire there. So now we're going to take and we're going to put down a hot glue blob about the size of a dime and we'll use that hot glue blob to hold the speaker in place and the speaker's uh, magnet back uh, causes the uh, metal back causes the uh, hot glue to dry fast and then we're just going to tape down our speaker wires so that they don't move around on the back side of the craft there and uh, now we're working on our record button and there's two uh, metal pads that we can solder wires to and they're nice big fat pads so it's easy to solder to and that'll allow us to move the record switch uh, to the Arduino. So now we're stripping the wires here these are the power wires I'm sorry these are the wires for the speaker so we're going to use our uh, shrink wrap tubing and we're feeding these over the wires that are coming from the speaker and uh, we've we soldered those those wires just a little bit so it'll make it easier to connect and we're feeding the shrink wrap tubing down over that so that once we make the connection we can uh, insulate it so now we're just holding the two wires together with our alligator clip and we're soldering them with our soldering iron and once again these are the speaker wires so we're going to uh, connect the other side the same way, uh, just using the soldering iron. And uh, once we have the two wires connected, we'll slide the uh, shrink rack tubing up over the solder joint, and that will help to protect the wires and prevent uh, them from shorting against one another. Uh, so once we have both the uh, shrink wrap pieces up, we'll use our shrink wrap gun to shrink those wires and or shrink the shrink wrap and, and seal the wires, protect them. So now we're going to remove the uh, power wire connector and uh, strip the power wires. And we are going to connect the stranded, uh, it's about 32 gauge wire, to our uh, 22 gauge solid core copper wire, which is hookup wire. And uh, we're doing that because it's easier to connect to our 5 volt uh, power distribution board that we installed in an earlier video. You can see that board underneath our sound module there. So we're just twisting the wire around our solid core copper and we're running our our solder around it. We're sliding the heat shrink tubing over the new joints in the wires to prevent them from shorting against one another. Now we're just going to heat shrink those wires up using our heat shrink gun and again that'll provide us a uh, insulated connection. All right so we're gonna pop off the uh, the play button here this is the play button uh, so that we can get to the traces below the play button. We're going to scrape off some of the lacquer leading into uh, the button connection. And the reason for that is that the button connection wires are too small to, to solder to, but the traces are big enough that we can solder to those. So we're going to use our 22 gauge copper wire, and we're going to just solder to both sides of the uh, switch trace. And so that's the first side, and then we'll also solder to the, to the second side so it's really important that the wires are not moved around because the uh, joints that we're creating with the solder are very small and so there's not a lot holding the wires in place. So we'll go back and, and put some hot glue over those wires to make sure they stay in place. But first, we're going to test everything to make sure that it works. So we'll hold our two record wires together to see if we can get it to record and make a sound by snapping our fingers. And now we're going to uh, press the play button and uh, cross our fingers and hope that it works. Yeah, it did, so that's great. So now we're going to put the hot glue over those two wires, and uh, that will help to maintain the wire's position and keep them from moving around and, and breaking free and destroying the joint there. It's about a dime-sized blob of, of hot glue, about an eighth of an inch thick, and we want to make sure we let it dry before we connect anything else. Okay, so now we've placed the sound card next to our 5 volt power distribution strip and we're drilling a hole so that we can uh, allow our, our record button to stick through the Lexan and that'll allow us to manually trigger the record button 
so that we can do testing if for some reason it's not being triggered by the Arduino. So we're just drilling this hole out with a quarter inch drill bit and we're going to clean up the rough edges with our break off blade knife. So now we're putting down our uh, about a quarter size blob of hot glue about an eighth of an inch thick and that will give us a uh, a place to connect our sound module to. We want to make sure we let that blob of hot glue cool for about 30 seconds before we connect it and that will help to keep the glue from squishing out everywhere when we push our sound card down. Now we're going to take the hot glue in and again put about a dime sized piece down uh, so that we can push our, our record button through and hold it in place. It's important that that hot glue does not touch the actual button itself um, otherwise it may not function properly. So time for a final test. Connecting our uh, play wires. Great, it looks like it's going to work. So we're going to go ahead and uh, connect our Arduino now to the, uh, to the layout. And uh, we'll put that over the uh, machine screws. And then uh, once we get the Arduino in the right location, we'll push it down. And we're just tightening, tightening the, the nut there with our needle nose pliers. OK, so now we're connecting our ground wire to the 5 volt distribution uh, board that we made from our breadboard the other day. And we're going to connect the uh, 5 volt positive wire to the, to the positive 5 volts on the, on the uh, uh, 5 volt distribution board as well. And that's going to give us power to our sound card. And uh, in the upcoming videos, we'll show you how to wire the sound card to the Arduino to make it play.